Hey everybody, David and David here from PayItForward.com and Upphone.com. And in this video, we're gonna tell you about the best over-the-ear headphones of 2021. We've got 10 pairs of headphones on the table and we bought these all ourselves. Right, you can trust our reviews unlike some of the others that you see on the internet or from other YouTubers who may receive some of these products for free. And before we do, we had to buy them with our own gosh darn money. And we had to wait, we had to wait for dollars. everyone else. So we tested all these headphones. We had a playlist of eight songs yep. just for bass, you know, sound quality and yep. surrounding. Dynamics, yeah. yep. Soundscapes. Yes. Also, we tested for comfort and durability. We looked at the case. We looked at the quality. We're actually redoing this video because AirPods Max just came out. And so we just got them. We've been using them a lot. We wanted to get those in there because for 2021, you've got some high quality choices. AirPods Max, you got the Beats, you got the Bose, there's a lot. Yeah, I think it also, you know, the fact that we had to buy all these ourselves made price really stand out as an important factor for us. And I think that kind of gets lost in some reviews when people just get the headphones for free or they get paid to promote them. Yeah. So that was one of the big factors for us as well, especially when you take a $550 pair of headphones. And Don't include a cable. It doesn't come in the box. You need to buy that separately for $35. So if you want to just skip right to the results, our top three and our bottom three, timestamps are in the description. Otherwise, you want to watch us see, you want to see some highlights, highlights. of us reviewing these headphones. Let's dive right into that. AirPods Max. Now, these are a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones that we've reviewed. And by a little bit more, we mean a lot more expensive. Really suspenseful. There we go. Right off the bat, you notice, what is this case? It looks like a VR headset. A purse. It's like a sleep mask. Shouldn't a case cover the entire thing? What we found with the AirPods and the AirPods Pro is that Apple kind of optimizes the sound, I, I wanna know what you think about that. I think they are to some extent, but it's less noticeable for okay, sure. Yeah. They sound great. Yeah. I think they're a little trebly. The first song I listened to was the Daft Punk song. I thought that was kind of bass heavy there. I'm it listen, was. And then I went to the Beck song and it sounded like the bass is almost too soft. That's what that I thought song. too. These are like so comfortable. A lot of bass on these. And my overall take is that it plays sound, but not too well. If you're looking for a cheaper pair of headphones, these are significantly better than the Skull Candies. You like a lot of bass. And not a lot else. Yeah, I mean, they're he they're really heavy on the bass. One, one thing we're noticing is like, oh, our headphones aren't that good. Let's just blow up the bass and cover everything up. I think that's the trick. You're right. It does come with a carry case, but not anything that's going to protect the headphones. Something's going wrong here. Oh, something's going wrong Something's there. Something's gone wrong. These are the consumer line. $200, I would be very curious to hear what the high end sounds like. These sound pretty good. I, I was very impressed with these. This was the first one I put on and started listening to the Daft Punk and I was like, thank God, it's balanced. If anything, I felt like these headphones were a little bit trebly. Bass sounded a little bit shaky in that one, just a little bit. Compared to the Bowers and Wilkins, which are $350, I mean, these blow them right out of the water. Oh, what shows up wow. as we're making the video? I feel like that there could be a little bit more patent on the top headband. These are one of the headphones where the color was a little, little misleading. They're not that for me. Strong bass. Strong bass, again, disappointed. The bass can get overpowering if there isn't a bunch of other rich sound to sort of balance it out. I feel like they're optimized for intelligibility mm -hmm. and definition of voice. And it ends up with this sort of compressed sounding, not a lot of depth. All right. Touch controls, lay down some instructions there. These I, these are nice and stylish okay. and futuristic. We finally got a good pair of headphones. Yeah, I think they're, you know, they're a pretty good pair of headphones. I, I think they kind of suffer from the same issue that the Sony has, where the, the price is so high, that the expectation is so high. What what didn't you like about these? I thought I, these I, were I just, great. I, I thought they were a little, they were missing that like big punch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, missing the punch? I just like missing like a big, wow, that's so much better than everything else. I, I think that these are so much better than everything think so? else. Let's talk about the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s. These are active noise canceling over the ear headphones. I like how it has the L and the R inside yeah. the ear cup. It's very comfortable, very light. I mean, well, you'd rather take the $80 discount on these over the yes. 700s, you think so? Yep. yep. I thought the base on these ones was a little bit inferior. It's like the other ones, they're trying to be cool with that slide up and down thing. And this is just like a really solid design. There we go. Headphones. These feel super light. I wish we got the white ones. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the black and the, the dark blue combo. Not the most optimistic sigh. Yeah. Kind of, hmm. I'm curious to what you think. I don't know. So I'm just reading the box. First thing it says, powerful sound. That's not the impression that I got from these headphones. No. Very good high end, but not enough bass to round out anything that sounds full. 
There we go, nothing to it. Look at that case, huh? Wow. The headphones, they don't have a lot of give. I can just, it, there's just a little bit of pressure. The issue that I had is that the bass is really heavy and it kind of overwhelms the sound at some point. It was like their engineers got together and they were like, you know what people like? They like the bass, they want to hear the words of the song, and then they like the shine. It ends up sounding like crap. It's, I mean, it's, it's just, it's like, bleh. Are you hearing that? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I, did, I, did, I was doing that too, and I didn't know if that was like a... <laughs> so first thing I'm seeing is got these cables on the side. I, don't, I just don't like those. It's like a winter cap in the back. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Doesn't it feel like... <laughs> it does. There's a nice case, huh? No branding on the case. Somebody is copying Bose. I'm not the biggest fan about how my actual ear touches the the inside of it. Hmm. So comfortable. These are these are so light. I think those look the best on you. These are so light. These are yep. great. I don't have a lot to say. I mean, they're just really good headphones. Everything everything sounds pretty balanced. I was not super impressed by these. It doesn't have that that it factor. It doesn't have the it factor. The Beastie Boys. Mm -hmm. The bass was not like. And I think it's because dynamically, it's kind of flat. Bottom three over-the-ear headphones, there were two clear losers. Right. And so, three and four were, it's just a very yeah. steep drop-off. We want to give a dishonorable mention to Anchor. Yeah. Um, so these didn't make my bottom three personally, just because they're only $60, and right. for the price, they're, they're fine. Right, and that's why they're not number three for me either. These sound better than these headphones, but these are $60. Leaves a little bit to be desired. This has all the features. It's just, it, as I wrote, it plays sound, but not too well. Yeah. Acceptable. 60 bucks. $60, good value. Yep, good value. All right, number three, why? Number three. That's a Bose. So I think part of the issue is with these Bose headphones, we're also comparing them to all the other Bose headphones, which we loved so much. And these were stand out as the yeah, worst were, for me. They were the only ones that didn't hold up in terms of sound quality yeah. or construction. Like if you can kind of see behind the earmuffs. It's like Bose wanted a $200 pair of headphones that they could sell and still have the Bose name. If you like dull music, when you have an over the ear headphone, I think you kind of want like the powerful sound and mm -hmm. just, you're not gonna get it from these. Nope. I would say it was pretty dull. So number two, and this was a pretty big disappointment for me because you know, this is it's, hilarious. It's fancy, it's got a fancy name. It had, I think my favorite case of any headphones. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, they had a great case. They look nice. I don't and think they sound that great. They Bowers sound terrible. Moments. They're just... <laughs> they, we sold them in the Apple store. They're $350. I, I added these as a last second addition to this list because I wanted to have another high, 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 high quality headphone to compare against the Bose and eventually the AirPods Max, which did not make any of the lists. Yeah. They are not worth the price. These are just really a disappointment. They don't sound good. I wonder why no audio professionals use Bowers and Wilkins. Hmm. I thought that they were thinking, okay, people want to hear the singer and they want to hear the bass player yeah. and everything else can just go away. I felt like they were really just bad sounding headphones. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these headphones. Our worst. I mean, not even close. It's It was like funny. It's more of an endurance test than yeah. a pleasurable experience. You know, taking them out of the box the first time, the, the bass, there's a bass slider. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was turned up relatively high. I mean, it was either too low or too high. And I put on the headphones and it was like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like it started laughing. Oh boy. If you like the sound of people driving by your house or apartment with their bass blasted out all the way and it's like shakes your whole house yep. or apartment, you'll love these headphones. If you like sound, these are not the headphones for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fisher Price headphones, they should be called. It's like a toy because they have this slider that makes them sound ridiculous. Do you remember the Fisher Price microphones? Woo! These are the headphone equivalent of that microphone. It's just this artificial extra bass. Yep. It's not like they're actually putting out more bass. There's some sort of a springy thing inside the headphones that just like vibrates. It's like a fear factor challenge where you know, all right, how much bass are you gonna do? And then yeah, you, turn it all the way up. Joe Rogan slides it all the way up and people start quitting. He's like, I'd rather eat the cockroach than listen to this. These are only $150 too. Um, so if you- It's a lot of money for terrible headphones. I'd rather eat the cockroach than listen to this for yeah. another second. Maybe they'll put that on the website. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Just terrible. Really bad, very disappointing. Moderately Dull disappointing, yeah. yeah. So these are our worst three. I really want to talk about the best three. Yeah. So best over the ear 
headphones. We, we brought up the AirPods Max just to talk about this. So we had to reshoot a bunch of stuff because these came out after we finished recording. <laughs> then we had to wait a week to get them. Uh, so we just want to mention them and they're, they're not going to be in our top three for a few reasons. Price is, is too much. Prohibitive. The yep. case is not good. The case is terrible. Doesn't come and with a cable. I just think the the overall sound quality isn't so much better than our top three that it's worth paying, you know, double the price. Not worth the price. I mean, that's the, that's, that's your headline right there. They're too expensive. Yes. So number three, these are actually, you know, I think our rank is going to be a little bit different. Than I think it's going to be a little bit controversial yeah. too, so especially number, in this video. Yeah. Number three, we had the Sonys. Right. Um, and these, some people consider these the best over the year. Right. Headphones. People are going to start getting mad at this point yeah. and start giving, don't give us a thumbs down yet. These Sonys are excellent headphones. Yep. They sound good they do not sound as good as some of the other ones uh, the noise canceling was really highly reviewed by a lot of people so they said that these are the king of noise canceling now the airpods are the king of noise canceling i don't agree with either of those these have that sony noise canceling white noise that are on my older sony's mm -hmm. there's something about the sony noise canceling technology that produces sort of a little bit of a hiss and take my word for it it gets annoying after a while everything sounds pretty balanced Pretty balanced for me. They were kind of dynamically flat. They're very light, very comfortable. I, one issue I had is they felt a little bit loose, and if I shook my head a little bit too much, they would just kind of wiggle. And if I went to the gym, I think they would they would probably fall off. Yep. Uh, so there. I mean, what we should say too is like all these headphones are great. Mm -hmm. These are all great headphones. It's yeah. just that some of them were slightly better, and the Sony's just fell a little bit short. Boring pair of excellent headphones. Our number two pick is the Audio Technica. I was surprised by these. Because we were very surprised. We we talked about how. You know, Audio Technica makes these really, really expensive headphones for audiophiles, and these are just for regular consumer. Two hundred dollars. I would be very curious to hear what the high end sounds like. Right. I thought they were going to slap the Audio Technica brand on yeah. some sort of a consumer level product just to sell it. But that wasn't true. Very comfortable, great sound. Great sound. I think the one thing you might get concerned about here is just that it's very, there's a lot of padding and it may be after a while, it might make it a little bit sweaty. But they definitely have that Audio Technica studio look to them. And if you want to be an Audio Technica brand ambassador, everybody's gonna know these are Audio Technica because it's all over the headband, it's on the ear cups and it's, it's everywhere. Great sounding headphones though. And for the price, that's why they're a number two. This is like, Real close to being perfect. $199 these headphones, good deal. Really great deal for the sound. You will not be disappointed. Good stuff. Number so, one. Let's give that a silver medal. I'll give it the silver medal. Number one, we went with the Bose noise canceling headphones, 700. Right. When I, you know, so my first impression, I wasn't super excited about these headphones because I, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, the sliders and it kind of yeah. has like a futuristic feel. I'm not crazy about that because it, you know, it, it's hard to line them up perfectly as opposed to some other. What we're used to. Yeah, what we're used to. With the more traditional headbands. Yeah, but you know, you get used to it and they're very comfortable, very light. Padding is super soft for what it's worth. Where the, uh, they do better than the Sony's is that I don't feel like they're going to slip off my head when I'm moving it around. So. Right. I think that they're very snug. They're very comfortable to wear for a long period of time. The sound quality if you're on a phone call or a Zoom call is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, the noise canceling, I think, is the best of any headphone that I've heard because it creates a pretty solid seal around your head without scrunching your head like some of the other ones. I think it's a better quality head. It feels better to me than the other ones do. That creates some good passive noise cancellation in combination with the Bose built-in noise cancellation electronics. Sounds fabulous. Yep, $379, so they are a little bit expensive. Sometimes you get them on sale for a bigger discount. Right. But if you want to save some money, and you know, we know this is a 2021 video. And that's why we didn't rank these as like part of the top three. These were among my top of the overall favorite, even though they're really right now. Yeah, and, and they were they're not this year's top of the line. They're a previous year's top of the line, but they're fabulous. They're a lot of people will prefer the fit of the Quiet Comfort 35 twos to the Bose Noise Cancelling 700. I think I liked the comfort factor of these more. These are very light and comfortable. Because it's a more traditional design, but it's the best traditional headphones design that I've ever seen. Mm. They're high quality, maybe not quite as durable as these Bose headphones. I thought the sound was very comparable. Oh, yeah. I really could not tell that big of a difference. For the price, 300 bucks, great headphones. Yeah, one thing to be concerned about, as you said, is the, is the build quality. It's a little mm -hmm. cheaper plastic, but I, I you know. Yeah, I wouldn't be too careful. concerned. Yeah, be Good case, yeah. Buy Bose, buy, I mean, you, you really, it's hard to go wrong with these over the year headphones. I mean, they're all they're all really good. Well, the ones on the table are really good, yeah. right? Well, yeah. yeah, if you get one of these, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. If you get, you know, yeah. Bowers and Wilkins. 
terrible, awful. Yeah, so really the moral of the story with the over ears is expensive does not always equal good. Right. That's what we learned. It's expensive not, you know. not always equal good. Mm -hmm. Good point. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of our rankings. I think we'll yeah. get some comments. We're going to get some comments, especially about the Sonys, I think. Or if you agree with us, leave a comment too and kind of balance yeah, it out. Yeah, balance out the Sony people. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about headphones.